Hey guys, welcome back to New River Productions. While well, you guys are all quarantined at home because of coronavirus, uh, before the corona hit my area, I went out and bought this. It's an MTH um, HO scale cab forward. Uh, the MSRP is $649.99, but I actually managed to uh, get this for $300. Um, a little pricey, but I learned to love this thing, and uh, it'll go well with the collection I have right now. And um, yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so I've got this thing on the track. Uh, the number that I got for this engine is 4144. Um, there's only one cab forward remaining, and that is 4294 at the Sacramento Railway Museum. I do hope that they get that up and running. I'm not sure if it'll ever happen. I have my doubts, but uh, uh, since I don't have my any pointer or small screwdriver, um, I'm just going to use this. Uh, We've got some of the windows over here, both sides. We've got the lighted number boards, headlight, KD couplers, uh, 4144 number plate on the um, front of the engine uh, towards the middle. Uh, we've got sand domes. We've got pop-off valves, the dynamo, uh, roof hatch here, um, grab irons, and uh, handrails, we've got the massive drivers on this thing. It's really, really nice. Uh, we've got the whistle up here. Uh, we've got the uh, dual smoke unit and smoke stack. And moving over here. Uh, one thing about the front of this engine is I did lose this part right here. There's supposed to be a handrail. I do have it, but I just haven't put it back on the engine yet. So there's supposed to be a handrail here, where there is here. Uh, we've got the air compressors, which make a unique sound. It's kind of like a high-pitched squeaking noise. Uh, that only It's a noise that only the cab forwards made with their air compressors. Uh, we've got step ladders on the tender. This is an oil burner, Southern Pacific Lines, labeled in crisp paint, uh, towards the back. We've got 4144 on the back, a uh, nice, how do you call that, uh, tender light, and another KD coupler on the rear. Six axle drivers, uh, a couple hoses, and uh, step ladders, and yeah. That's the details of this engine. So let's go over my favorite part, which is the sounds. So I haven't had the time to really program this thing, so it's stuck on uh, address 3. Uh, so let's go ahead and press 3 to start up the engine. And that was the quick start, didn't do the long start. So, uh... Yeah, we heard the dynamo wind up, uh, you can hear the air compressor in the back, making that little squeaking noise at the end. And turn the headlight on, and there you go. So let's start with the bell. Nice bell, definitely off of 4449, which is pretty accurate it's also a Southern Pacific engine. Uh, let's go ahead and blow the whistle here. I really like that. I'm pretty sure it's a it's SP Desert 5 chime. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Uh, See, turned on the smoke unit here. 
can see it kind of starting to flow. It's hard to see with the camera. Just zoom in a little bit. And you can see it's starting to kind of fill up the layout. Smoke. Uh, F3 would be shut down. And you press F3 again. Turns back on. Uh, F4 is the passenger freight announcements. There's another load over the hill. Another night in Sparks and we'll mark up for a run back to Roseville. and vegetables coming out of the Central Valley. They have us running hard during the picking season. There's a good chance that we can sign up for empty reefers heading west. That'd be a nice run, and the weather should be good tomorrow. Let's hope we are high on the seniority list for tomorrow. You never know who's ahead of you when you come in on an extra. There's our signal to cut loose from the train. Let's go get the caboose, head to the roundhouse, then to the steakhouse. I think a stop at the boarding house is in order before the steakhouse. Good idea. Let's go ahead and move her out. Beautiful, beautiful looking engine. I uh, love the smoke. That's probably my favorite feature. Is the because uh, this thing's just pouring out smoke like it's nothing. And I only put three drops in too. That's pretty incredible. So let's go ahead and move on to the back here and take a look at. the rear of the engine. My camera will focus here. No, doesn't want to focus, but I think that's the best we can get here. Come on. Sorry about that. There we go. And viewing from the back, we got a nice golden uh, tender light Man, I'm really, really starting to like this thing. Uh, and keep in mind that this is one of the 2010-ish, or around that area, maybe 2012, 
This is their first run of the um, cab forward. They came out with the second run, which has a um, new sounds. Uh, not, in my opinion, I like the uh, older run better because they did change the sounds a little bit. The whistle sounds a, a lot better, in my opinion, on the newer run, but uh, air pumps, crew talk, all the other stuff is uh, not my favorite on the newer run, so I stuck with the older one. Uh, let's go ahead and attach a couple of my cars behind her and see how she runs around the club layout. Not the most prototypical train for the cab forward, but uh, I just grabbed the uh, nearest train on the layout that I could. Um, so my apologies if you're a uh, perfectionist. I truly apologize for this. But uh, yeah, I'm running a cab forward with Cole. So, uh, besides that, let's go ahead and head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe week. Um, spend some time off. Spend some time with your family. Unlike what I'm doing right now. And peep the Corona gloves. Um, but stay safe. Um, try not to travel too much. Um, be sure to wash your hands. And I'll see you guys later. Stay cool and stay on track.